Well, I've been working hard to complete the concourse area and replace this monstrosity. Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Well, good evening everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. Now, I know it's been a little while, um, but uh, things have taken quite a long time to make. It's nothing gone wrong or I've not been ill or anything like that. It's just taken a very long time to make this. And it's just been hours and hours and hours of printing. Um, now, the reason for that is because some of the parts took many many hours and I can't print that of an evening because I wouldn't get it done so I have to wait until a time when I was able to print it like a weekend or something like that um, other parts like that part for example did take a little were a little bit quicker to print uh, but even so it was still very difficult to fit some of the printing times into an evening slot if you like before I have to go back to bed and then obviously go back to work so that's the way it has been so it's taken a little while to get that far um, the area is almost done um, I've decided not to fix these parts so none of this is fixed but um, and the roof still comes off that comes out this is just blue tacked to the back seam so if I need to remove it I will that sort of thing now you'll notice there um, I've put like a little back scene in there if you like I did show you or I will show you I should say in the, in the following clips so you can see in this area here you've got a staircase I don't know whether that's real or not and then in that section there you've got offices and if you look really closely you can probably see uh, inside there's it is just a picture this is a bit of a different video and I'm not going to go into great depth, but I will just spend a couple of minutes going through how I made this building. Right, welcome back. Now, as I said in the introduction, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm not going over every step of what I've done. I'm just going to show you the basics of how I put this together and then that'll be it. Um, so you've got the main structure of this, which is made up from a number of different parts. Obviously, you can probably see there's the vents through there and there's a roof. And obviously, this is a front. I printed that as a front section. And then you've got this outside structure, which printed around the outside there and I'll show you the light bit in a minute but then that bit sits at the bottom there along with um, that bit sort of here and obviously that goes there and this is a backing piece which is a piece of card um, I haven't got any plastic card that size so I'm just going to go with a piece of card it will be all right at the back and you can see I've printed off these pictures of internals um, just straight from the internet. In fact, that, that one is one image and I've just cut it in different places. So to give the impression that it's actually different offices, but it is actually the same image just cut in different places. There you can see the same picture up there, but I thought it gives the same sort of feel across the whole of the three floors. So that's the reason I've done it. And I don't know whether there is a staircase there um, up against this window um, it seems likely that there would be so that's why I've put that in the background and this um, will be set back um, so when you see it you can probably just about make out the staircase in there but to make it a little bit clearer as you can see I've then mounted an LED strip in there fed the wire through these little slots so the slots obviously will brighten up this part 
and the top section. This bottom window will be a little bit more dull and that will be black. So there's no light going to get through to that whatsoever. I'm going to seal that off with black tack. So that should be all right. Um, but yeah, we're definitely getting there. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it for that bit. Um, all you need to do now is glue it all together and you'll see the final result on the layout in a minute. Okay, so you speak to you soon. Bye for now. Well, I put it on the layout and uh, you'll see as the, I'll show you some video coming up on the screen now. Um, there was some quite bad light bleed coming from this area here, down here and up here as well. So I thought I can't go ahead and just leave it like that. So I decided to deal with it. Um, so. All the lovely neat work that I did at the back is now, well, it's a bit of a mess now, isn't it? But it's at the back of the wall, so you're not going to see it anyway. So what I've done is I created a hatch, uh, which is just literally taped on. The um, actual lighting strip is stuck to the other side of this plastic. I painted the inside of this black and then directly behind the lighting, uh, lighting strip, I put a piece of black card as well just to help it and also I've fitted a light up here uh, because the light coming up this side I thought would be bright enough to light all of that but actual fact it's just the light comes to about there and then it's just a dim glow for the rest of it and obviously that doesn't um, show up to be a working office. Um, these two windows remain dark um, but that's absolutely fine. Um, so Yes, it does look a bit of a mess, but I'm more happy with the way that the front looks now than it did before. Now, I also went ahead and weathered this building. Now, you might be able to notice there is a dark stain running down the side there, and that's quite deliberate. Um, the reason being is because when you've got something dark, the bit that's in front looks as if it's a head or further forward. So again, it's, this, it's a trick with forced perspective, if you like. And I also dirted the top of that um, metal strip, which is the same, uh, the same um, ridge work, or oh, I can't remember what you call it, gird, not gird a word, but this, you can, this, you know what I'm talking about, this stuff, corrugated stuff, uh, that's on the main canopies, and also the same color as well. That's what it looks like in the photos anyway. But yeah, so let's get that on the layout and I'll show you what it really looks like, <laughs> okay. Well, there it is. If I just pan you out so you can see the whole of that building. Now, just to give you a closer look at this building as it is then, so hopefully you can see the improved lighting on it. And you can see that's not changed, but I've put the LED strip just above that window there, sealed these two sections up at the bottom here so there's no light getting to that from the inside but hopefully you can make out uh, the staircase and maybe even there are some people in the office working there. And obviously the same bottom two windows, but that's black. Uh, but probably more importantly, the fact that the lighting bleed has now gone, not only from the side down here, but from the front through those panel gaps and also from the top of that um, roofy bit just there. But the one thing that I really wanted to do with this version of the building, and this is the third attempt at it, I have to say, 
was to create these panels um, so that all these panels are slightly raised, um, which hopefully gives the impression that it looks a little bit more solid, which is what I was trying to go for. I think it kind of works. It's not the best, but I think it's all right. Uh, you'll also notice that I've added some lights down here. So we've got a lamp there, one there, and I've replaced that one there. So that area is now quite well lit from the other side or from the outside of the building. And I've also given the car park a bit of a sweep and all the cars because they were getting a little bit sort of quite disgusting, really. OK, right, on to the inside. But as I said, I've also done some work inside, namely added people. If I pan you in there, excuse the light, but you might be able to make out as a whole load. And it will be difficult to spot them, but hopefully if I take you across a high enough distance, you might be able to make them out in there. So the station is not massively busy, but it's certainly a lot more busy than it was before, <laughs> being empty of course. There's a few more on the escalator going down, a few more gathering around the cost of coffee, that sort of thing. A couple waiting to go to the kiosks and the bank um, cash points. And I haven't added any more to the cafes. There was, there was a, few, a number in there already. But the other thing you might have noticed on top there is this lamp, the uh, lighting strip. Uh, it basically fell off and it was drooping down as these things have a habit of doing. So I took the opportunity of cutting a long piece of card, black card, glue that on and then I glued the lighting strip back to that and I think that does look an awful lot better. Uh, you might also notice now I've painted this wire up there um, so you can barely see it now. So it's, I was going to put some tissue paper in there or trace some paper to sort of blot out one of the windows but I don't think I need to now. I think just doing that's solve that problem but uh, yeah so I'm quite happy with that. So the next thing that's going to happen on this layout is going to be this area down here uh, on the fascias. Now if I take you up here you'll notice Sheffield Street and there's the entrance one of the roads going under Sheffield Street and there are some units here I don't know whether these units are still there, but it's what I'm going to continue with. So obviously we come next, we come to the um, bridge where the tram comes out. Um, I might make a model of a tram, I might buy one, but it certainly won't be working. Don't get too excited because it will block my room up. <laughs> um, but obviously then the arches will continue down here. There's the bridge across to the public car park or a car park across there. Um, whether I do an awful lot with that, I don't know. I might extend it a little bit. Um, but then the road or this area does then jut out a little bit. So what I might do is just extend that part of the, the layout, probably about inch and a half, two inches out, just to give the indication that it is coming out a little way further, which will probably be just enough to it maybe another line of cars in down the side here. We'll see how it goes. Um, just a few weeks ago, I did have uh, somebody ask a question um, about how it was the roof here was going to blend into the back scene. Uh, please forgive me, I'm sorry, I can't remember who that was. So forgive me for that. But the idea was to create um, a piece that would just stand up against the back scene and hopefully just sort of blend in. So I went ahead this morning and made those pieces, put them on, and to be honest with you, they just stood out like a sore thumb. So that's not blending in really. So I think to be honest with you, it looks just as well like that. So that's how I'm gonna leave it. I hope that answers your question. All right, anyway, this, um, I am gonna start focusing on the double O gauge layout now, because I've just started my Easter holidays from school. So I do want to get the extension done to that and make it into a roundy roundy. There are a few other double A gauge projects I want to show you. So the N gauge one will return in probably about two to three weeks. We'll see how we get on with the other one. And uh, yeah, it's all exciting times from that point of view. Anyway, you just take care of yourself and I'll see you again very soon here on Piccadilly.
ขอชนะ